What's going on, my peoples? Back again, man. You know, my videos, they coming too. You know, um, I'm here at the job. Uh, just waiting a little bit. Got to work early. See, the thing about me, man, um, once I wake up for the night, I don't want to go back to sleep because if I go back to sleep, I guarantee you I'm going to be late. So I'd rather come to work early and just chill on out until it's time for me to start. But I was thinking about something, man. Um, you know, I was thinking about um, good food service drivers. I'm talking about a good one. Good food service drivers would make good on operators. That's just my observation. You know, the reason why I think that, man, is um, the number one thing is that um, good food service drivers, you know, they're after that bag. They want to make that money like it ain't even funny. You know what I mean? And um, if they become an owner operator, if they were the owner operator, um, their mentality will be the same. So I think that they'll be out there. Um, they'll be hungry. Um, they'll hustle. Um, they'll do what they got to do to make it work. They won't run no loads for free. Not for free, but for cheap. Um, they'll know exactly what type of truck to get. They'll be well prepared. They'll have all the money in the bank to back them up. And um, I just think a good food service driver, man, will make a good own operator, you know? And that is um, something that a lot of guys do when they get um, tired of food service or when they um, resign or retire or whatever, they become own operators. You know what I mean? I'm not telling you to become an owner operator or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I just um, hear a voice of my opinion, you know? But one of the thing is, man, a food service driver, one of the thing that, or attitudes, or good habits, whatever that word is, that they'll bring as an owner operator is their organizational skills, man, because believe it or not, to be a good food service driver, you gotta be very organized at everything you do. And to be a business owner, um, you gotta be organized at everything you do. Um, you gotta make calculated moves. And a good food service driver, they make calculated moves. You know, they're always thinking, of, thinking ahead. You know what I mean? go-getters man you got to be a go-getter i think a, a good food service driver they're going to go out there they're going to hit the road and they're going to know that yo their number need to be this you know a lot of owner operators um a lot of guys get their cdl and all right listen to this how i put this together right so you're working at a job you're over the road and you're working at a job right and you're, if you're lazy, you're, you're a lazy truck driver. So guess what? Why you think you're gonna be like a lazy truck driver, but you're gonna be an excellent on operator? No, you gotta practice good habits to, to, to do good habits. And that's why I think a good food service driver will make a perfect on operator because a lazy truck driver is gonna be a lazy on operator. And a lazy on operator nine out of 10 times is gonna fail. You know what I mean? And when you guys decide to go in business on your own, you're not going there to fail. You're not going there to waste money because believe it or not, it's not funny. You know what I mean? Um, these trucks are expensive out there. Um, the trucks are ranging in the price anywhere from 35,000 to $80,000. Um, tires is not cheap. Um, work on your engine is not cheap even to park your truck some places are charging you 250 to 350 dollars a month just to park your truck um insurance on the truck is high um to get your cab card is high and stuff like that so it's not a cheap business people but i see quite a few food service driver man when they get ready to um when they don't want to do food serving no more they become own operators uh, some of the guys they go into ltl also and um some of the guys they just elect to do easier job because i'm gonna be honest with you not everybody 
it's gonna make it to the end in food service, man. Um, it, the rate the race is for the for the swift. You know what I mean? For who can endure it? You know what I mean? And it's um it's a tough job. A lot of guys do bail out, but you know what I mean. A lot of guys stick around to the end. You know what I mean? But it's just an observation. Um, something for um something to think about. You know. For anybody, um, cause I used to be an owner operator, man. I know what it takes. I know what it takes to succeed. You know what I mean? Because believe it or not, if I could grade myself on when I was an owner operator, I give myself like a B. The only reason I, I I did not give myself an A is because um I was so eager to hurry up and come home every week. If I would have stayed out there a little longer, I could have made more money. But at the end of the day, like, sometimes it's not good to chase that money away. Chase that money around, you know? But appreciate y'all watching, man. Hope everybody doing good this morning. Hope everybody's staying blessed. You know what I mean? These videos are coming. I got, like, 20 more days before I'm able to go live. <laughs> the funny thing is, um... When I when I when I am able to go live again, I think I'm gonna be on vacation. So you guys are gonna catch me on vacation. You know what I mean, um, I don't know where I'm going yet, but I'm going somewhere. I'm going to Jamaica in um, April. So I'm going to Jamaica in April. So my first vacation, I'm just staying local. You know what I mean? But. I appreciate all the subscribers I got, man. I appreciate all the new subscribers that I'm gonna get. Um, what you call it? I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the time I'm able to go live again. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but it is what it is. If this is your first time watching my videos, just um subscribe. Hit the bell and stay tuned for new videos, man. And if you got any questions, man, just feel free to ask me, man. I try to get back to everybody. All right?